this is a This is a spoon, but you just don't see it yet. My name is Andreas Stett, and today I'm going to show you how to carve a spoon out of wood. What we're going to start with is to split this log. I have chosen a soft wood for this project. Uh, spruce to be exact, but pine also works really good. And the reason I choose a soft wood is because it's much easier to carve in than a hard wood. When you're choosing a piece of wood for carving, you want to make sure that you choose a piece where the fibers in the wood run straight. And uh, on this piece, you can see that the fibers curve slightly, like this. Uh, the fibers can also run like this to the side, and that is not good either. So a good piece should look something like this. On this piece you can see that the fibers are pretty much straight and uh, this is a good piece for carving. Another important thing is to choose a piece of wood that is dry otherwise when the spoons dry afterwards it can crack. One of the most important things when you're carving is to have sharp tools and for this job I have my Vettelings axe and my Helle knife. What I'm doing now is that I'm trying to get one side as flat as possible and as even as possible. So we're chopping off some pieces with the axe and then we're gonna go after with the knife and uh, make it smooth. The reason I only even out one side is because on this side I'm going to draw the spoon later. So this side needs to be as smooth as possible and as even as possible. You can also make the shorter sides of the wood even, because there we are going to draw the spoon from the side. The next step is to roughly draw how you want the spoon to look like. The easiest thing is to start with the handle first. And now it's just to try to draw as even spoon as possible. This is just a rough drawing but it gives you something to go at. Now it's time to chop off some pieces along the side of the handle here and uh, a good thing is to start just below here where the spoon part is and uh, cut downwards and make sure you always cut from the top to the bottom because if you put your knife here and smash this will crack all the way up here and uh, break off the spoon so always from the top to the bottom A good tip is to take small pieces at a time and just keep working on these sides till you get a little bit from the line here because you want to save a little bit till later. We also want to draw a line at the outside of the first line here, 
so we know how thick the edge is going to be of the spoon. Something like that, just to get a rough mark on where the edges are going to be. The next step is to carve out the actual spoon part. And for that job, I have a, something called a spoon knife. It is basically a curved blade, super sharp, that is made to dig out this wood to create a bowl. This is a great little tool to have, which you can use for all kinds of bushcraft projects. You can make everything from kuksa to spoons with this and it's really a good tool to know how to handle and work with. If you are new working with this tool this can take a, a little time to learn but when you master it you can do a lot of cool things. I like to hold it on the edge here of the spoon and then press with my thumb downwards to guide the blade just like that as you see it's just like scooping ice cream you do this scooping movement and uh, remove the inner pieces to create the bowl. And the further down you get into the wood, the easier it becomes to carve. Now I have carved the hole as deep as I want it and what you want to do now is to remove all the excess wood here and around the handle and uh, cut it down to the lines. Now it's time to draw a line how the spoon should look from the side and how deep the head will be. These lines are pretty rough but it's just to give us a a clue about how thick the handle should be and how thick the spoon part should be. And after I've cut this out I'm gonna remove a piece of the handle to make it the actual size it's gonna be. So as you see it looks pretty rough but now it actually starts to look like a spoon. I'm gonna remove some more wood from this area and a lot of more wood from the actual spoon part. It is at this part of the spoon that the most time and work goes into. So you want to make sure you get this really even and uh, both from the inside and the outside. And after that I'm going to grind it with some sandpaper. I'm going to start with some rougher sandpaper and then work my way down to smaller and smaller and finally finish it off with this super thin sandpaper to give it a real nice and smooth finish. It's actually in this part the most amount of work goes in and to carve the actual spoon part out.
So this was how to make a basic bushcraft spoon. I encourage you to try this yourself. It is a fun project to work with. I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed to make it and uh, feel free to leave a comment what you thought about it. Give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.